Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. I just watched a couple of videos and I thought I'd draw your attention to them. A couple of videos from this channel. I'll put a link to both of these videos in the comments and description. Because I was thinking of doing a video about this myself, the idea of these two court cases being yet another PSYOP had crossed my mind. In these two videos, link in description, this fella, he makes interesting videos. I've shared his stuff before. He's talking about the Alex Jones trial, the Alex Belfield trial, and also talking about David Icke, Brian Rose, and John Ronson. He's saying that he thinks that there is a link between these two recent court cases, the Alex Jones trial and the Alex Belfield trial, that they may be a psyop. They both happened at the same time. They both appeared in the mainstream media at the same time, a few days back. As I've said before, Everything in the mainstream media, I believe, is part of the system. And I'm sticking by that. At this point, the majority of it, I think, is an illusion. And I would also add to these two court cases, the Lawrence Olivier, or I mean, the sorry, Lawrence Fox. I get actors, I get actors' names mixed up. I would also add that whole police arrest of the veteran, and it all being filmed with commentary from Lawrence Fox. Again, that was in the mainstream media last week at the same time. It then went on to appear on Tucker Carlson on Fox News and on Sky News Australia. It's getting a, a lot of promotion around the world. I did a video on it a week ago, which I said I believed it looked all staged. And looking at these two other court cases in the news around the same time. So, you know, you have three stories at the same time happening all being reported big time in the mainstream media and the message, the overall message being relayed out to the public through these mainstream media channels from these three stories is that basically if you post stuff online that is controversial, you might get arrested or you may get taken to court and fined as in Alex Belfield and online stalking or in Alex Jones case, a five million fine or whatever it is for saying an event is not real or is a hoax or even just questioning it. All of this being promoted in the mainstream media all at the same time and it getting loads and loads of coverage. Is it yet another coinky dink that this all happens in the same week? All of these stories relaying the same message to the people's subconscious, right? Which is to intimidate people from posting what they honestly believe, especially on controversial subjects. Get people to think twice before sharing stuff on social media. Is that what it's all about? And all of this happening at the same time. And I've got to say, I reckon there is something to this. As you all know, I did the Trump New Age Doctors video and the follow-up, which showed how all of these doctors, the Sherry Tenpenny, the Dr. Carrie Madej, loads of them, how they all appear on the same show, Stu Peter's show, Del Bigtree, over and over again, on many occasions making outlandish, outrageous comments, which never amount to anything. And this happening time and time again, in my opinion, to create confusion. All of these people appearing on a regular basis, also on the Alex Jones Infowars show. It's like a circuit. They continually appear on each other's shows. And many of them appeared also on the Reawaken America Tour, which supports Trump. And I asked in those videos why they were connected to this when Trump calls himself the father of the vaccine. Yeah, go and check them videos out and the part two video as well. Also, I said how a lot of these doctors and presenters were connected to the Academy of Divine Knowledge which I believe is now called Unified or Unity, which was pushing a New Age, Lucis Trust, Lucifer Publishing, New Age Ascended Masters, UFO Lightworker, gobbledygook, okay? And, you know, to me, it looks like a huge network of people managing and manipulating the opinions of the public. That section, that specific section of the public who are questioning what is going on. And interestingly enough, the Infowars uh, site, band.com or whatever it's called, now has Reawaken American videos on their site, a page dedicated to it, with all of those New Age doctors and the likes of Charlie Ward and General Mike Flynn, as you can see here. And of course, I've said before, it seems to all hark back to Trump, 
MAGA, etc. All of these people promote Trump. And you can draw a line between these people in the USA and ones in the UK, like, say, Lawrence Fox, who I've seen waxing lyrically about Trump. Of course, he's a Trump supporter. Fox, of course, who appears regularly on GB News, who have Nigel Farage, another Trump supporter, Nigel Farage, who also hangs out with Alex Belfield. Here you see here at a table with Jim Davidson, a well-known Freemason. Yeah, they all link up. Nigel Farage, of course, from UKIP, which was helped by billionaire Robert Mercer, who was one of Trump's biggest funders, one of the original owners of Breitbart News Network, along with Steve Bannon, Trump's political strategist. Also, this billionaire owned Cambridge Analytica, which was rigging social media posts on Facebook. Anyway, they're all connected into pretty much all of the alternative media. Now, if you check out these two videos, link in comments in description, the guy makes a good point. He suggests that maybe the truth movement is a controlled opposition from the get-go, from the start. He talks about John Ronson, who way, way, way back helped to get both Alex Jones and David Icke major publicity with a TV show called The Secret Rulers of the World, which, you know, it was on mainstream media TV. It was on Channel 4. So again, you know, even way back then, did everything that appeared on the mainstream media, was it also part of the system? Possibly so. Also, in the second video, he talks about how there's a video of a Brian Rose saying he is in the Brotherhood, which I take is a Freemason. And also about those interviews he did with David Icke right at the start of all of this pandemic and how those interviews got massive views, but also led to lots of uh, censorship, uh, Twitter bans and YouTube channels being banned, including Ike himself. And I've always said, I've found that, is it not possible, maybe, that all of these big platforms made out they were banned and then moved over to BitChute, Rumble or wherever, whatever alternative platform in order to segregate the public, in order to segregate the online audience in order to remove the audience that was against the system, to take them away from YouTube, all right, divide that audience so that they wouldn't mix with the normies, with the people who were buying into everything they were being told. Keep the majority of the hesitant people, keep them in an alternative platform online so they wouldn't influence any of the people who were falling for everything they were being told, hook, line and sinker. Was that what that was all about? As you know, I got loads of strikes, but I just opened up another channel. And then when I got a strike there, I opened up a secondary channel. And after three months, a strike times out. So I just went back to the original channel afterwards. I mean, I also set up my own website, hugotalks.com, so that if I thought a video would get a strike, I wouldn't post it on YouTube anyway. Yeah. So to me, looking at the Alex Jones trial, the way it's featured in the fake stream media, the things that was said in the trial, the way they were said, the whole carry on. To me, it looked like a big theater pantomime show. And now they're asking for donations to keep Infowars alive because of the court case. <sighs> you know, all of these people, these shows, they're all linked. USA, UK, other countries. You can link them all together. The more this goes on, the more obvious it becomes. And there are so many of these platforms. And you can tell after a while because they share the same narratives a lot of the time. Time and time again, they share the same sensational stories. Even when something it looks so staged, the event looks hopelessly fake, you will see them come out and promote it and back it up. They won't even question it. Oh, no. Even though anyone real would look at it and say, hold on, this looks a bit staged to me. A lot of these platforms have the same funders. A lot of them can be linked to the CIA, the MI5, the House of Lords, as I've talked about in previous videos. I mean, you know, when we see all of this alternative media, all of these alternative characters, are we not just looking at another version of the left-right paradigm, you know, like the Conservative Party over there and the Labour Party over there. You know, we have the government and the 
opposition and they complain about one another, they argue, they play act, they accuse each other. But we all know, underneath all of it, when push comes to shove, they are all in it together. They're just putting on a show to make the public believe they live in some form of democracy, but they don't. There is no real left or right. They are one and the same, two cheeks of the same ass. So is that what it is with the alternative media? It seems like that to me. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to HugoTalks.com so you can be notified of all videos when I upload them. I don't want to be relying on any third-party platforms in the future. So come and subscribe, and I'll see you later.